Uh, one of the other things I know is very common is uh, locating things that have been put away. What tips can you give somebody on um, finding things? Oh, this is this. In fact, I spent probably a half an hour this morning looking for something that I had put away. In my talks, I have something I talk about laughingly called a good place. When you put something away in a good place and then later you try to remember what that good place was. Um, a couple of tips. Um, if it's something new that you're putting away that doesn't have its own place, um, you can take a brightly colored sticky note and write on there the object you've put away and where you've put it. And you can put that sticky note someplace where you're going to look at it every day, like on your uh, mirror in the bathroom, on your computer screen, on your um, refrigerator. And then as you repetitively look at that and see, oh, this object is in this place, you'll commit it to long-term memory, and that helps. And just to be safe down the road when it's in your long-term memory, you might stick that sticky note in a little, little notebook so you can find it. The other rule I have is a place for everything and everything in its place. Um, when I have a standard place for something, I work really hard to put it back there. And if there's other people who live in your house, ask them to, uh, to honor that too and put things back where they belong. My glasses have a place, um, things I lose regularly, glasses, cell phone, um, keys. My keys have a hook. When I come in the house, they go on a hook. When I leave the house, they're in my hand or stuck onto my bag or my belt with a carabiner. Everything needs to be put away because you're just not going to remember where it is and you're going to waste a lot of time looking for things.